of twelve, but not a team. A skit, a plan, paper, a ream. We work so hard both day and night. We work so hard, but it just wasn't right. We hadn't gotten to the team end. I give up, don't have a clue. What is it that you think we should do? Check in with the team, learn our customers' desires. I sense a spark. This could lead to a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A team and fire. So much of life, so filled with desire. To make it work, set the team on fire. Don't go changing others. Change yourself Getting to the teaming Yeah, yeah, yeah To the teaming Now we're synchronized Got bad moods on the run People all around us Are amazed at what we've done Offers and requests For the work keep coming through Even through the real They're amazed at what we do yeah, yeah, when we were teaming So much of life, so filled with desire To make it work, set the team on fire Don't go changing others, change yourself Get into the teaming Yeah, 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 into the teaming To make it work, set the team on fire Don't go changing others, change yourself Get into the team and yeah, yeah, yeah Into a team Another chapter. The Farmington Area Public Library District serves the communities of Farmington, Hannah City, Travolta our local economy is agricultural based with some community members commuting into Peoria, Canton, and Galesburg for work. I would characterize our community as aging. However, the new school and low housing costs are attracting families to our area. Our current library building is a 1906 Carnegie building. We are currently working to build a new library. As part of this process, we have formed connections with the Farmington Rotary, Farmington School, and public officials to meet the need for a new library in our community. Also, various members of our community have stepped forward to volunteer time and effort to creatively increase public awareness, raise funds, and seek out donations through a capital campaign. The Eureka Public Library District is located in Eureka. It's located approximately 27 miles east of Peoria and 34 miles northwest of Bloomington. The closest interstate is I-74. We're seven miles to the south of Eureka. Oleo and Kruger Townships combine to create this library district. The two townships cover the entire city of Eureka and some of the surrounding rural area. The combined population of the two townships is 6,200 31. Tawanda, Illinois, with a population of 525, is one of the smallest communities in rural McLean County. Tawanda District Library serves 2,000 residents in Tawanda and the surrounding rural countryside. Surrounded by cornfields, Within three miles of Bloomington Normal, this library currently has one of the largest digitized collections of local historical information on the web of any library its size in the U.S.
The Central a and School District serves the students of Assumption and Moequa, about 20 miles south of... No, you won't see that kind of skipping, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Farmington Area Public Library District serves the communities of Farmington, Hannah City, Travoli. Our local economy is agricultural based with some community members commuting into Peoria, Canton, and Galesburg for work. I would characterize our community as aging. However, the new school and low housing costs are attracting families to our area. Our current library building is a 1906 Carnegie building. We are currently working to build a new library. As part of this process, we have formed connections with the Farmington Rotary, Farmington School, and public officials to meet the need for a new library in our community. Also, various members of our community have stepped forward to volunteer time and effort to creatively increase public awareness, raise funds, and seek out donations through a capital campaign. District is located in Eureka. It's located approximately 27 miles east of Peoria and 34 miles northwest of Bloomington. The closest interstate is I-74. We're seven miles to the south of Eureka. Oleo and Kruger Townships combine to create this library district. The two townships cover the entire city of Eureka and some of the surrounding rural area. The combined population of the two townships is 6,231. Tawanda, Illinois, with a population of 525, is one of the smallest communities in rural McLean County. Tawanda District Library serves 2,000 residents in Tawanda and the surrounding rural countryside. Surrounded by cornfields within three miles of Bloomington Normal, this library currently has one of the largest digitized collections of local historical information on the web of any library its size in the U.S. The Central a and School District serves the students of Assumption and Moequa, about 20 miles south of Decatur. There are approximately 300 students enrolled in the high school in Moequa. Moequa and Assumption are both small, rural farming communities with a combined population of more than 3,000 people and over 100 small businesses. Virtually, the school library has the ability to reach every home in our communities, making this library accessible 24-7. Our objective was to implement web technologies that foster community participation and develop leadership, innovation, and positive change. We did this by, one, providing leadership and becoming change agents in our communities. Secondly, we used participatory technology to engage the community. We had a lot of freedom in determining needs, direction, 
response and services to our communities. Additionally, each of the team had goals of their own. Under needs analysis, I ADAPT, which stands for intergenerational access designed around personal training, we focused on the effects of the economic situation and unemployment in our small communities. We all face the paradox of living in a transitional time without the necessary skills to survive the transition. Coming on the heels of the economic boom of the 90s, the generation of workers who assumed they would be reaching the fullness of their careers during the first decade of the 21st century has instead seen the bottom drop out in their retirement plans. With a high economic stress index, our small communities are especially vulnerable to the instabilities caused by economic downturns. Our libraries have a vested interest in the health of our communities and our patrons. What can anyone do? What can we do? These were the questions we asked ourselves. We started with the high economic stress level in our communities, then looked at how that was visible in our communities. Economic development and fostering a positive attitude became the focus of our grant work. We then had to identify ways to address the needs and work together on a joint project as a team. We divided the areas per community needs and we each contributed to the combined efforts to provide a more comprehensive response. My community representative is Liz Hurst. Liz is a longtime Farmington resident, a business owner, an avid library user, and an edu educator in the community. Liz has taught me much about the Farmington area, and I thank her for her help throughout this process. The skills we have acquired during our I Lead You process will be used to provide business support to the community of Eureka. Seed money from the rural partners for our individual projects can't help but individualize our commitment. And we look forward to seeing the direction that we go with these projects. Libraries have always been the place to collect stories for communities. Now, Tawanda District Library has begun collecting and creating stories about our community. Community members become engaged when you ask them for their stories, we've learned. The youth in Tawanda are focused on interviewing local rural entrepreneurs about their businesses and about their reasons for locating their businesses in rural Illinois. The students spent time this summer learning about flip video cameras, movie editing software, and interviewing techniques. Youth have been paired with local business owners and are starting to upload the videos they have created to our Rural Adapt portal. Understanding teen decision making has been the subject of many books and articles. When adults look at teen behavior and decisions, it is through the eyes of experience, age, and distance. Teens do not see situations in the same way. While teens may acquire perspective in hindsight, in-the-moment decisions are typical. Providing opportunities for students to develop a strong foundation will give them a reasonable chance for success in making good decisions during stressful times or under pressure. Choosing the right thing to do isn't always the most obvious or appealing choice and often takes time to think through. During the spring semester of 2010, Central A&M High School Library began to gather information from students for the purpose of identifying ways in which our iAdapt libraries could be more responsive to the needs of students, especially during the current economic downturn. 